Hey guys, we're here at the Tusco Rifle Club, Midvale, Ohio. We're here for the third annual 2016 Pyramid Air Cup. We got gunslinger competition, we got field target competition, national champions, world champions, we got it all. The wind is treacherous, the courses are set. Let's go see how this shakes out. We decided to come out, she helped me and she really liked it and wanted to do it herself. So she's enjoying it a lot. And there's people from so many different walks of life in so many different areas where we all have this one common interest and uh, camaraderie down here is really great. That's one of the neatest things about the sport. People from other countries that shoot air guns, it's uh, automatic, they have a, like a burger. Nice right. shot, Greg. It's a great time for us as a vendor to talk to the individuals that are actually using the product, see what they questions they may have, see if there's anything that we can help them with. And uh, I think the interaction has been really good. And we thank Pyramid for the opportunity to come and show our products. It's fantastic. It's a bunch of great guys, and uh, it's fun to mingle with them and hear what they have to say about our pellets and all the kind of modifications they do on their guns and just uh, all the little details that they like to to talk about. I've got to say it gets bigger and better every year. I'm looking at lots and lots of new faces so uh, kudos to you guys because it because exactly is happening what is supposed to happen. It's supposed to get bigger every year. Yo! All right guys, it's gunslinger time. For the PCP shooters, we have the chickens at 15 yards, we have the pigs at 30 yards, we got turkeys at 45, and we got the rams all the way out at 60 yards. They're allowed to use up to 22 caliber, 45 foot pounds. And on the spring gun side, we have the chickens at 10 yards, the pigs at 25, the turkeys at 40, and the rams at 55. It's quite a challenge. Off the bench, again, 22 caliber or under, 30 foot pounds for the springers. Let's get into it and see what happens. What I like about the Gunslinger the most is that watching other people. Being in it, it's very high intensity, but when you're watching your friends shoot and when some of the rounds get down to the last one on, the, on a block, it's, it's invigorating to watch. I just like the competition. I think people do it to, to have fun, but there's also a little bit of competition there that comes out in the end, and uh, I just enjoy watching people uh, go one-on-one -on -one for a speed shoot. It's a lot of fun to watch. Out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, make some noise for Greg Wally! Out of Cleveland, Ohio, the local guy makes some noise in the Benjamin Armada 22 for Bill Rabbit! Yeah. All right. All right, gentlemen, here we go. In three, two, one, go!
Jack the North for our two time champion, and of course, great second place finish today, Bill Rabbit. Hey guys, welcome to the Pyramid Air Cup field target match. This is a two day portion of the event. We have 100 shots spread out over 25 lanes for the competitors. They're split between the two days, uh, but we have targets anywhere from 10 to 55 yards, kill zones varying from 3 eighths all the way to an inch and a half. They're up in the trees, down on the ground, back in the shade, in the bright sun. We got tons of different options here that competitors are gonna have to weigh and then try and do their best to knock them all down. I don't think anybody's going to knock them all down, but let's see what happens. We're going to go introduce you to one of our team members. You're going to follow them around, get a sense of what Field Target's actually like shooting the course. Uh, if you need more information on Field Target, check out www.pyramidair.com slash P-A-F-T. That's our Field Target team website. Give it a check, and uh, let's go check in with Greg and see what he's doing. Let me introduce you to Greg Sauve. Greg, how you doing today? I'm doing very well. Good. Thank you. Greg's one of the top shooters, just came back from Worlds, uh, actually won the veterans class title over there, so you're basically like the best old guy in the world. Right, 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 right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, you won it a couple times though, so. Times. Yeah, no, well, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna follow Greg around the courses uh, over the next two days, see how he does, uh, in, so you can check out a little bit of field target here, and uh, there'll be more footage from the cup here for you. Greg, good luck. Thank you, Tyler. Knock him dead, man. We're doing way too awkward right now. <laughs> I feel like uh, I should be able to do my best and uh, we'll see where that puts me. That's how I usually look at it. I don't try to beat anybody, just try to do my best and hopefully that's good enough. But if it's not, it's not. No. Don't get too worried about it. The interesting thing is that the field target shooters are pretty much the same world over. You have that instant camaraderie just like you do here. And uh, that's one of the really fun things about it. The sport itself is growing tremendously. I mean, it used to be the world's meat was the United States and England, and they would trade years. Now there's 37 countries involved, and uh, it's just taken off. I load the gun, then I do the range finding, and then I try to steady in on it, being very careful not to touch the trigger. <laughs> the danger of loading the gun first, of course, is when you're range finding, you could, if you hit the trigger, then it's a shot. <laughs> okay, I'm going home. <laughs> that wind, it's coming behind you. You can feel it going, shifting. Damn. I try to wait for that first condition to shoot in, this, you know, in, a, in a constant to so kind of figure out the prevailing condition. Here it's hard for the tailwind. It's behind you sometimes straight and then sometimes it'll right you and sometimes it'll left you. Just a lot of wind. There's just a lot of wind. And uh, I don't think I held off quite enough. I, held, I was holding out here, I think I should have been a little further. But, yeah, take your best shot. Day two. Beautiful weather. This will be good. Uh oh, looks like we start with kneeling, standing. Ooh, standing. Wonderful. We'll start with standing. I'm happy. <laughs> you rest your gun on the stand if you want to, and the range find. Uh, then to shoot, you have to shoot offhand, you know, no support. Uh, but the stand is optional. Um, and they're only allowed if the match director puts it out. You can't bring your own. Some, some matches, they're there, and some matches, they're not. So here you put one out, which is... It makes it a little easier for some people. I, I don't use it because I, I like to kind of get warmed up in the position, so I, I range find in the standing position, but everybody's different there. Kneeling is the most controversial position. Your back foot has to be upright position. It can be slanted, but it has to be upright. It can't be resting it on the ground. Your wrist has to be free of your knee. Once you're resting, so your hand can move like this. If you rest your hand in your knee, it's illegal. So you have to check all these things. Your coat or your wrist cannot touch the side of the gun. Wrist can't touch the side of the gun. So there's a lot to think about besides just the shooting. You have to make sure the position's legal. A day like this is why you do this. I mean, you're outside all day in a wooded area, you know, in nature. There's a nice breeze blowing, which of course for shooting we hate it, but it, it, it feels good otherwise. It's sunny, it's, it's warm but not hot. 
comfortable. This is when it's great to be outside. Sometimes it does rain, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> Last lane. <laughs> the end. <laughs> At this point, it's like, I want to be done, because once you're done, you can't miss anymore. You know? At this point, if it's going pretty good, even if I missed them all, it still wouldn't be terrible. So. <laughs> but there's no more lanes after it, so the damage is limited now. So I'm more relaxed. First lanes, I'm pretty tense. We started standing, and that was, that's the toughest way to start. Done! Happy. Outside of the wrong target, I think I shot pretty well. I only dropped two of the wrong targets, so I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied. First place and the overall high score. Uh, well, no real surprise, Mr. Greg Sauvé. <laughs> Well guys, that about wraps it up for the 2016 Pyramid Air Cup. Uh, it's been an amazing experience, 90 plus shooters, the gunslinger went great, field target went well, lots of prizes given away, made a couple shooters very, very wealthy today. Uh, it's been a ton of fun, great experience, and we hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Hope to see you guys in 2017. I'm out, signing off. Later. <laughs> <laughs>